Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the AI generated image that you can use inside Replicant. For that, let's grab this screen, for example, let's go to the material slot called screen, and under the base color, you can see here this icon, and the tooltip says generate, let's click here, and this will open the AI generated tool. Here, we can type a prompt, so Let's try with this one. Uh, let's use OpenAI DALI 3. You can change the style from BB to natural, and you can read the description of the tooltip. You can enable HD, select the texture side or autosave. But for now, let's uh, generate the image. Okay, we can see the credit that we spend on this image. If we hover, we can see a preview. If we are fine with it, we can click on this uh, thumbs icon and it will go back to the material slot. And as you can see now here we have our image. We can apply this image anywhere we want now that we have created it. So let's open this screen. Let's click here and you can uh, preview it here because this screen is uh, a different aspect ratio what we can do is use the dialing options for example the u offset so we can choose what area of the image we want displayed you can change the rotation and the size as well but you can use this tool not only for images in a screen you can change any texture that you want so for example if we come here to this um, Let's select this floor and under the material slot floor, base color, we can come here and let's generate something. Uh, let's try with this one and let's click on generate. And as you can see, we can preview it here. It didn't dial the material correctly so probably this is something that they will improve in the future being able to generate dialable materials or textures but for now we have changed the look of our floor with just typing a, a prompt so not bad we can do the same with avatars if we go for example to the upper one clothes you can see here we have all the slot materials for this t-shirt and we can select them all and click here on the map and we can type a prompt tileable pattern material um, Hawaiian shirt for example you can type whatever you want and let's see what it generates As you can see, now we have a new shirt pattern. If you want to modify that, you can always go to the color section in the expert mode and you have, you can control the tiling size. So you can make it bigger or make it uh, tiled a lot. So it's smaller. You can offset the pattern. Uh, so you can play around with it to see what suits you. And you can do this for every single piece of cloth. We can also use AI to generate background image. For that, we need to go to the DOM tab. Click on 360. Let's lower it a bit so it doesn't clip with the ground. And as you can see, the default image is being displayed there. And now let's click here to generate a new image and let's try dark forest. Something like this. And for the style, let's go with um, stylized CGI realism and let's see what we get. Okay. Let's click here. Now maybe the forest is a bit too big. Uh, let's try increasing the size of the dome. 
And now the zoom texture, let's duplicate this. Uh, as you can see, it's styling also in the vertical. So be careful, this might only work in certain camera angles. And now let's change the projection offset. So it's going to move the projection of this image on the dome a little bit up. We can also change that here. So you want to try to match the horizon line of the image with the horizon line of your environment to have the better uh, perspective. And as you can see, we have our image uh, in the background. We can try to use a skylight component to affect uh, the lighting of the environment using the 360 texture and as you can see if I increase the intensity uh, it's affecting the environment so you can play with that you can also use the background lighting to affect everything uh, all together like with this you will increase the intensity of the background it will be brighter and also it will contribute to the lighting of your environment. Uh, if you don't want to contribute to the lighting of the environment, you can always disable the sky component and this will only affect the background image. And that's how you can use the AI inside Replicant to generate the images.